What is up, guys? Pure Ice Cold here, bringing you another commentary. It's been a while since I've actually sat down and done the commentary or anything, really. You know, just balancing the social life and trying to do good at work and yada, yada, yada. But I am trying to get more videos out, that is for sure, so I do apologize for the long wait. But I do have an update kind of video going on. So, uh, first things first, that this is just, you know, not really any kind of awesome gameplay. It was originally a live commentary, but I was like, you know what? It's kind of boring. So, I'm like, I'm just going to make it a commentary. I need, like, a kind of a long video for today. So, yeah, guys, without further ado, let's just jump into the commentary. So, first thing is first. E3 is done. I did my research. I know what console I'm getting. I already got a pre-order. I'm getting the Xbox One. Obviously, that is my console. I went and got it before the restrictions changed. All that stuff. Freaking loved it. Now, here we go. The games that I am getting, guys. So, these are the games that I am going to be picking up within, like, the first month of its release. Um, so, yes, I got the Xbox One and, like, an extra controller and stuff. But I will be getting Dead Rising 3. I will be getting Call of Duty Ghosts. I will be getting Battlefield 4. I will be getting Watch Dogs. And pretty sure that's it for right now. That'll keep me busy for a while, but I'll also be getting Project Spark later in the future, too. But, um, yes, I'm getting those games. I'm thinking I'm probably going to be doing Let's Plays. Dead Rising 3, I'll probably do a Let's Play. Um, Watch Dogs, probably do a Let's Play. I mean, the my girlfriend is, you know, all about, like, Dead Rising 3. She thinks it looks awesome. That's, like, mainly her game. She's buying it. So, you know, she, we might do a Let's Play together or something like that. And you guys might see her in some, like, commentaries and stuff. Because that's the main thing. Like, she comes over to my house and will stay here for a couple days. So I really don't do any commentaries, you know, because my girlfriend's here. I'm like, do I play games or, you know, be with my girlfriend? I'm like, oh, obviously, rather be with your girlfriend. So, but I'm like, you know, I kind of need to make some videos, too, because I haven't made anything for a while. And I'm, and I'm seeing my Guild Wars 2 videos just kind of blowing up. So I'm like, I need to get more Guild Wars 2 stuff out there, too. So I'm hopefully going to be filming a Guild Wars 2 here in a little while and get this video uploaded tonight and have a guild wars up within like the next couple days you know just kind of kind of get back on track here but i just kind of want to make like a little update video and kind of my opinions on things but um yeah i couldn't decide if i want to call of duty ghost or not and you'll see i got call of duty ghost because i got the uh skin the ghost skin so you'll see that on my guns and my upcoming videos but yes uh yeah so that was my main thing i couldn't decide if i want to call of duty or battlefield because, I mean, you know, I'm like, okay, Call of Duty, I, you know, I'm obviously a gameplay commentator. I mean, Call of Duty, that's where everyone's at. But I'm like, oh, man, I can't decide. So I was originally getting Call of Duty Ghosts, but going into E3, I saw Battlefield 4. And I was like, oh, man, uh, Battlefield 4 looks freaking awesome. I was big in Battlefield 3. I have, like, a almost 3.0 KD. I was really good in Battlefield 3. And I was like, oh, ah. Uh, so I was like, you know what? I got to get both. I'm like, screw it. Because I couldn't just, you know, pick Battlefield because I wouldn't have Call of Duty. And I'm like, okay, well, I can't really do my comms. I guess I could probably do Battlefield, which I probably will. I'll probably do both. But I'm like, why not have a variety, you know? Like, have Call of Duty and Battlefield. Like, okay, I'll play Call of Duty today and Battlefield tomorrow or something. So I ended up just getting both. I was like, screw it. So I'll be picking up both of those at midnight. And we'll have my console and I'll be uploading. I should be uploading content that night. So, hopefully, you know, I don't know if I'll jump in the multiplayer or not, because I know there's a that big update. There's an update, because, you know, they changed all their policies, so that right when you plug in your Xbox, there's an update, and it's depending on how big that is, you know, I might just jump in the single player on something, I might just do Dead Rising or something, but we'll see, you know, I might even have to have the update to play, because I probably won't be able to do, you know, offline games to, like, get it, but hopefully it's not that big, I'm hoping it's not humongous you know like a gig or two gigs or three gigs or something where it's going to take me forever to freaking download it but yes i will have call of duty and i'm going to be doing the story the story looks amazing same thing with battlefield i'll have let's plays in the future for sure on next gen um right now i'm just you know playing call of duty i'm going to be doing some more guild war stuff i haven't played that in a while but i want to get my thief to 80 get i'm going to be doing um some leveling spots, and then I'll and I'll be doing guides on uh, crafting, like how I craft, and like what items you're gonna need, and that kind of thing. Because I do know I am getting some uh, subscribers through my Guild Wars, and I've just been uploading Call of Duty a lot, so I will be uploading more Guild Wars stuff very soon. So I'll look forward to that. And let's see, man, what else? I mean, I mean, just, I'll just you know, E3, guys. I mean, what do you guys think? I mean, all around. I mean, I know there was a lot of flaming. I know there was a lot of fighting between the console fanboys and all that kind of stuff. 
But I mean, this guy, this year's E3 guys, it just looked, it was awesome. I mean, it was a huge, it's a really exciting time to be like a gamer. I mean, it's an awesome time to be a gamer. All the great games coming out. I mean, Titanfall looks awesome. That's a game I'm going to be getting for sure in the future, guys. That game looks awesome. I saw that game, saw the gameplay, and I was like, whoop, I'm going to be good at that game. Like, <laughs> I can just tell. I can just tell I'm going to be pretty good at that game. So I'm definitely picking that game up. Some of my buddies are getting that game. So, yeah, it's going to be uh, kicking the butt. But that game looks awesome. Project Spark looks really cool. Um, I mean, it was just it was just great. I mean, I know the Xbox is getting a lot of uh, complaining and flaming and, you know, all that kind of stuff. Their policies being called, like, Hitler or something like that. I mean, I know they were getting a lot of crap talked about them. But, I mean, I went out and got it still. I mean, I went to GameStop the next day after E3, saw everything right when I could pre-order it. Went and put 100 bucks down on it. Now I'm just paying it off little by little. But definitely getting the Xbox One. Definitely looking forward to the new uh, features, the new games. I mean, the new games just look awesome. I mean, I, if okay, put I guess put it this way for everyone that's like you know PlayStation fanboy or whatever. I mean, put it this way: if Xbox came out with the exact same policies at E3, you know, if they were like, okay, we're gonna support you games, we're not gonna have the online play. They never said that. I mean. Who would have won? I mean, would have PlayStation still won? I highly doubt it. I mean, Xbox had better games. Xbox had way better exclusives. I think PlayStation would have lost if, if the Xbox said that at the very beginning, but they didn't. So, obviously, PlayStation 3 won because everyone was freaking out about it. I didn't I didn't really care. I mean, I love some of the, the ideas, like the whole game sharing through um, the cloud would looked awesome. And it sounds like they're going to bring that back. So me and, you know, some of my buddies in real life who have it are going to be like, sweet, share some games, you know, give you rise for Watch Dogs kind of thing. So that looks really cool. I'm stoked. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's just an awesome time to be a gamer. I mean, whether, you know, you're Xbox or PlayStation 4, I mean, you got to you gotta get both credit to both. I mean, I'm, I'm a total Xbox guy, but I got to give credit to PlayStation 2. I mean, they, they, their console looks awesome. I mean, the graphics look fantastic. I mean, some are saying the console has better hardware and that kind of thing, which isn't really true. I mean, if you know any wicked sense about any, you know, anything, <laughs> you know, I mean, you know, you're somewhat tech savvy. I mean, you kind of know the difference between DDR3 and DDR5 and why Xbox went DDR3, which makes a way more wicked sense for them. It would be stupid for them to go DDR5 and that kind of thing. I mean, the graphics look the same. The processors are all the same. They have, like, the same graphic card. Like, it's not really anything different besides it says a 5, and everyone's like, oh my god, it's so much better. It's it's really not. I mean, yeah, it is. It's a little bit better in some aspects, but seeing how Microsoft does more than one thing, you know, they have their whole... They just do a bunch of stuff at once. Whether you're watching a movie and Skyping, I mean, that's way better for DDR3. It runs a lot faster. I mean, look at my computer. I have 16 gigabytes of DDR3 and 2 gigabytes of DDR5. DDR5 through my graphics card. And DDR3 is basically what makes everything run. So, I mean, they're saying, oh, it's so much better. It's, it's really not. There's really not that much of a difference. There might be a little bit, but what Xbox did was a lot more smart, and it's probably a little cheaper. But, anyways, back on topic here. Um, just just stoked, guys. I mean, I'm just ready to, you know, get back into things. I'm just ready to start releasing some videos on time kind of thing, kind of trying to get, you know, like maybe three a week or something like that. Getting some guides out there for Guild Wars. Get my level 80 on Guild Wars. And just keep owning in Black Ops 2. But yeah, I've just been playing my other games too. Because I mean, I have a bunch of games. I've, I don't know what it is. The past like year, I have had this habit of not beating my games. I get all the way like to the end and getting a new game and not picking that game back up. And then I end up changing hard drives. So now all my saves are gone. So I'm like, do I really want to start Batman all over again? No. I don't start Force Unleashed all over again? Not really. But all right now I'm trying to beat uh, Grand Theft Auto 5. I mean, I'm almost I'm at like 45, 46,000 gamer score, so I'm trying to break 50. Um, next month on the 20th, my Xbox Live account is going to be at 9 years. So I mean, yeah, I mean 9 freaking years. I mean, there's no way in hell I have way too much history on the Xbox. I'm not going PlayStation. And I kind of hated how PlayStation did their um, reveal the whole like, "Oh, we support used games and yada 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 and there's no DRM." You have to pay extra fees for our games, but they kind of didn't, you know, if you read the fine print, they, there was a, they're still going to be the, um, publisher. It's up to the publishers, basically, is what I'm trying to say. The publishers can come in and say, hey, you want to play our game and you want to play online? Okay, well, you got to pay, you know, 15 bucks to get an online pass. Kind of like what E3, you know, um, not E3, wow, what EA does. But Xbox isn't going to have that. The EA said we're getting rid of it. So I don't know if that's for the PlayStation also or not, but... 
all I know is if you're an Xbox guy and you go out and buy an EA game and you know used and you bring it home and play it it's not going to have any any fees like they've had for the past couple of years with like you know Battlefield 3 and Madden and crap like that so pretty stoked about that pretty stoked I'm just happy to be a gamer I'm thrilled I'm excited can't wait to start bringing you guys some more feedback my YouTube channel is growing it's growing a little, you know, it's growing kind of slow, but I mean, I'm getting some subscribers here and there, I'm getting some comments, I'm getting some views, and I mean, it's just a lot of fun, guys, and hopefully, by the time the Xbox comes out, I will be a lot bigger, and that will be awesome. <laughs> but anyways, guys, it's kind of update video, kind of rambling, but uh, anyways, later.